cockroach so it's morphology let's look at the external features of cockroach so there is a head region here and a short neck is followed by a thoracic region so this is a thoracic region and there's an abdomen abdomen region so these are the four segments of a cockroach and what is the shape of the cockroach the head is triangular in shape you can see the structure here is a triangular shape the mouth is situated in, in front of the head so this is the mouth region it is guarded by an upper labrum and lower labium male chundu tarata chundu upper lip and lower lip and between there is a mandible sadhu adinna edeyilana mandible aayittu kaanapadunnu idana ende mouth parts nu parayunnathu this is the labrum this is the labium this is a hyperparynx or ten and this is the mandible which helps in grinding these two are the maxilla in addition to this there is a pair of compound eyes this is a compound eyes and any a pair of a pair of compound eyes are there here is compound eye and a pair of mini jointed long slender feelers or antenna present just below the eyes the long Antinatus. This one. A more flexible pair of jaws. The first maxilla situated behind the mandible. As already said, so this is the maxilla. Let's move on to the thoracic region. It consists of three segments: prothorax. So this is a prothorax, and this is a mesothorax, and this is a metathorax. Metathorax, mesothorax, and prothorax. So these structures are covered by a chitinous dorsal region. This is the tarsus. So these segments are covered by a chitinous structure called the tarsus. A lower part, that is the sternum or that is about the sternum. Upper region is called the tarsus. This is the ventral side. These are the abdominal region. Three pairs of legs are there. It's the mouth. The spiracles are present over here in this region. This region. This is the uh, triangular shape. Head region. This is an antenna, and this region is called the tergal plates. These are the tergal plates, and this is the sternal plates. This is the pronotum. This one. Prothoracic region is covered by a shield-like hard structure, and that is called the pronotum. So this is the pronotum. Coming to the mesothorax, mesothorax, a pair of thick opaque brown plates, elytra or tegmina, is present. Mesothorax, and the pairs of wings are there. forewingum hindwingum the forewings ne ana tegmina nu varunathu allengil elytra nu varunathu which is opaque and brown plates so it is not used for flying it is actually helps in protections and ende tottu thaale metathorax la ana sherikku ende hindwing varunathu which is actually used for the flying so the two pairs of wings one is found on the mesothorax and second one is on the metathorax A five jointed legs are attached to the sternum of each thoracic segment. So, three thoracic segments are there. A oro thorax has one pair of five jointed legs. One, two, three. 
So hence it is called Shepard, six legs. Let's move on to the abdominal region. So normally it gradually narrows down posteriorly. The V shape structure like a mirror. It consists of 10 segments. 10 segments are there. You can see here the 10 segments 1, 2, 3, up to 10 segments are there. And similarly, it is covered by a tergum, a dorsal tergum, and a ventral sternum. The 8th and 9th terga are hidden from view by overlapping the 7th one. You can see the 7th one, which is a slightly larger one, which covers the 8th and 10th one. In female, the sternum of the seventh segment is very much prominent. Female is prominent in the reproductive organs. In male, in the male, the sternum of the ninth segment has a pair of short style. So this is called the and have stay. The tenth one we are doing starting here. This short one is called the anal stay. This is which is actually originated from the ninth one. So tergum of the tenth segment projects backwards as a flexible plate or plate or projected now back like it. And that is why there is a gap under. Uh, gap and the anus and it is guarded by a, a many jointed analysis. The genital aperture is ventral to the anal opening. Oh, venal opening in the ventral side light and the genital aperture. So, 10 pairs of respiratory aperture is called a stigmata or spiracle. Stigmata or spiracle, you can see here. These are the spiracles. And the side lighting on two in the thorax and eight in the abdomen are present on the sides of the body. 